uh, get started with gold, I want to do something special here. Should we need ourselves? This is the special. <laughs> Not entirely. If you want so to. We check ourselves before if you think we wreck you're ourselves. going, If you think you're going to blurt out something in the middle of this, yes, mm. you should probably mute yourself. Sorry, <laughs> So, oh we had such a great feedback on Get to Know a Mayhemmer. So, let's do one this week on Mainstream Matt, Matt Carlins. You're here with us. Oh. Okay. We'll, have to, we'll be doing honored. some stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're here. You arrived. So, good. I, I don't feel like I've paid my dues. I don't feel like I deserve to Are be Are you kidding me? Mayhem Mania, yeah. dude. Mayhem Mania, and you've been close enough to smell Stephanie McMahon. You're okay. Power and lilacs. Yeah, it's true. So, uh, how did we do this before? Do I think we went through and each one of us asked a question of you. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Good. And well, let's start, I'll, I'll start with the one we asked on the Indie Mayhem show. Uh, what is your earliest memory of wrestling and kind of getting into it? My, my earliest memory of wrestling is catching it on the TV in my parents' bedroom. <laughs> I'd, I'd wandered in there on some Saturday morning. Don't snicker, Bobby, you <laughs> pervert. <laughs> just the way you said that. Catching it in my parents' bedroom. Mommy and Daddy. Daddy. Parents Daddy. Uh, so it's a Saturday morning, and wrestling is on a TV in my parents' bedroom because obviously my dad turned it on because God knows my mom's too good for that. Um, <laughs> and it was either – it was one of two segments, and I can't remember which one I saw first. It was either – the Macho Man dropping the ring bell over Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and breaking, crushing his larynx. Nice. Although, no, he did that on the guardrail. We did yeah, that on the guardrail. the guardrail. Or it was the outlaw Ron Bass attacking Brutus the Barber Beefcake with a pair of spurs and gouging at his forehead. And, and the blood was so Damn. intense, they put a giant X, censored X on the screen <laughs> as outlaw Ron Bass just like running his spurs across Beefcake head. And there's blood everywhere. It's Saturday morning, and I'm like, <laughs> and, and like, you know, they need to bring back a giant censored X. That's Matt way Carlin's better. Than, have that is way better than black intros. and white. Put, putting the match in black and white is is only kind of lets you see everything. So, but if you put an X over the screen that says censored, your imagination runs wild, mm -hmm. and Beefcake's brains are like spilling out into the canvas. You know, it's just. <laughs> It really enhances the experience. I, it's, it was one of those two shows. Yeah, it was a tiny little. Um, it was it was syndicated. It must have been Superstars or mm -hmm. Wrestling Challenge, and it may have been in black and white, but yeah, something <laughs> like that. Uh, who's, who's got the next one for him? I'll go. Okay, Mr. Matt Carlin's, sir. Yep. What is? Who was? Your first wrestling crush. What? Crush. Crush. <laughs> <laughs> and it like, cannot who was my be first crush. Brian Adams. Who was my first favorite? Like, who was your fr No, not your first favorite. Who was your first interest, a love, like... A, a, the person a, you wanted to bang. Exactly. Like, which one made, made my... Made, made, yes. Made my thing move? What? Yes. Is that what you're asking me? That's exactly what I'm asking. I don't know why I'm censoring this to myself. Who made my dick move first? Yes. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Who made your dick hard? Kids are in bed. Let it go. Go. Whoa, not that. Don't let that go. <laughs> let it go. Let it, go. Um, <laughs> it was definitely sunny. It was def It had to have been sunny. Hmm. And why? I know you guys want me to answer Miss Elizabeth, but I can't. I, I, no, it, it wasn't. You can't do that. Though. No, she's too, no she's, it's she's too she classy. was too pure. Yeah, but Sunny was just yeah. That was it. Okay, and is that is that your why? Because <laughs> Sunny. That's why. Sunny. <laughs> that, that is a, that is a good that is a good point. Because Sunny it was twenty years ago. How's that? Hey, <laughs> you, can, you can you can get whatever you want for a hundred bucks, sir. <laughs> Pointing it out. I don't know if this Why? works. I don't know if this works to make you jealous, but I have been close enough to smell Sunny. Whoa! And she smelled like depression, tobacco, yes, and power. power. She, she smelled like <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> like I said, tobacco and power. She she smelled like she. Never mind. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, 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 
Sorg you... almost just turned to platinum. Alright, who's got next? Who's got next? Alright, I'll, I'll take the next one. Right. Um, this is I only for like executive that... producer. Buddy is the only one who's allowed to watch this episode. <laughs> I asked, I asked this, the same thing to Katie last week. Uh, you'll recognize this question. Who's your favorite wrestler? <laughs> Who's my favorite wrestler? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bad News Barrett is my favorite wrestler. Nice. <laughs> and, and he's and wearing a Seth Rollins t-shirt. <laughs> okay. oh. I like Seth Rollins just fine too, but I love Bad News Barrett. And I can't let go. And um, <laughs> I can't let go. When I, was let up go. In, when I was up in Erie, I know, I know I've told you a bunch of you guys this story mm. already. Uh -huh. When I was uh -huh. up in Erie at that house show, and I got front row at a house show in Erie <clears> a couple <throat> weekends back. Mm -hmm. And I screamed my head off for Bad News Barrett. And I was probably the only person in the arena cheering for him. And, and like, he's doing, like, I, I swear he did moves just for me. Like, he had, like, the one guy in the Do you, like, corner. point at you afterwards? Like, he was, like, he had him set up. You know how he, he usually, like, lays him across the turnbuckle and he mm -hmm. runs back and he kicks him? But I'm, like, sitting right beneath the turnbuckle, and I'm like, let's go to work, Wade. Let's do it. And he starts doing, like, the ten punch in the corner. Because <laughs> <laughs> he heard that one wow. voice in the crowd. Oh. The only voice then, in the crowd. Did he, like, do, like, hip thrust your direction, too, or what? <laughs> I, I, we never made eye contact, I, at least not that I know of. But um, And then after he pinned Dean Ambrose in the triple threat oh. match, I jumped out of my seat. And I was like, yes, and I pumped my fist in the air, and I turned around, and it was like a sea of angry, pent-up <laughs> soccer moms, just with the darkest scowl um, you've ever seen in your amazing. life. And I'm like, oh, Matt, so you're excited looking excited at me. Was, was your wife next to you doing that when you oh, did that? Yeah, she was. <laughs> she was a lead oh, soccer mom. She was She's a lead she... soccer mom. <laughs> wow. Somebody tweet right. that. <laughs> The lead right. soccer mom? That's a soccer that, moms yeah. love Dean Ambrose. Oh, when he, the, you, saw, you saw the tweet when he did his little gyration on Monday night. Like a million of them <laughs> yes. just fainted. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Who's got next? I, I, I have a very important question for you. All right. Matt, Matt Was it about right. his dating life? <laughs> no, no, it's not. I, I've don't ask me about that. Total Divas. I don't know. I, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. Um, if you could pick any match to see live in person mm. from history, which one would it have been? Wow. Wow, that's a good question. <laughs> that's deep. Oh, that's wow. deep. I, I've got an idea. I've Man. got an idea of one that I that I wish I would have been there for. Um, and, and then there's like other like and then my brain is like, in generalities, I have like wrestling regrets. Like, I regret that I never saw ECW, real ECW. Mm -hmm. um, and I regret that I never saw a real ECW in the ECW arena. I realize now that I was closer than most and I probably should have gone. But <laughs> whatever, for whatever reason, I didn't go. Um, a one match to see. Um, you know what? You know what match I would like to have seen? Um to be there live. I would have liked to have seen uh, the main event of WrestleMania 17 live in the Astrodome. Oh, nice. Just because even watching it back, the visual and the audio is just so intense when Austin comes out at the beginning of that match. And you've got like everything that you remember from the Attitude Era. Just huge like rush of sound. And then like he poses on each turnbuckle and there's an explosion of flash bulbs that you never get anymore. Which is just like the most awesome thing that I really miss about wrestling, and um, yeah, that would be a good one to uh, to have been there live for. Excellent, nice. Thank nice. you, Matt Carlin. Nice. Anybody else? I got mine. Okay. Uh, uh, and this is not just because it's coming from me. Um, what is the <laughs> maddest you've ever been a professional wrestler? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's an honest question. The most uh, upset an I've an ever question. been at wrestling. We all have our moments. <laughs> Some more than others. Okay. <laughs> What's the most mad I've so ever weekly. been? The most I could think of like I got I, I got a couple candidates, I guess. I was really I would really get upset about um um when um Is that, I keep trying to think of that, something that really upset me. I it know things have, like, it, it, me it, 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 from a kayfabe perspective, too. I mean, 
Yeah, I, I, and I've got some good. I mean, basically, it's all kayfabe. Matt, you're not an angry person. Let's just point that out to the crowd. You're not that angry of a person. No, 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 no. They, well, no. Well, anytime no, I've seen you mad, you still had a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Even as I recall how sad I am. Yeah. Um, just trying to think of something that like, really made me upset. Like, All right, I got some candidates. Um, when yeah. the Nexus lost at SummerSlam, oh, that's, that's a good really one. upset. That's a really from, good one. From just being like an, an absolute Nexus mark to being totally over Cena, <clears throat> and just and, and also kind of understanding backstage that it was probably not the best decision. There was like layer on top of layer on top of layer of being upset. Um. I remember getting really upset about Jericho's treatment, especially when he was the undisputed champion uh, leading up to mm-hmm. 18 mm-hmm. Uh, and being just upset that he was never really portrayed tough enough. And, and just like looking back now, it still upsets me. Everything about Jericho's undisputed champion upsets me. The way he's forced to carry both belts, <laughs> the way he carries the two titles upsets me. Um, just everything kind of upsets me. It turned um, into a Triple H Stephanie feud. It didn't mm-hmm. turn into a Triple H Stephanie feud, but even that dated back further. Like the, the seeds of that were planted when Jericho beat Triple H clean yeah. on a Monday Night Raw. But that's like the only time Jericho ever beat him. And so this mm-hmm. this narrative stretches for years. Um, elimination Chamber, Mike, you were there for that one. That the first Elimination Chamber, Jericho is in that ring, and the, you could feel the fans getting really excited for Jericho because they just want Jericho to fucking beat Triple H just one time. So, but I, that, I, they did still leave home happy with that, though. They did leave home happy, but I, I, I think in general, you're asking me something that makes me mad in wrestling. It's watching Chris Jericho get beaten by Triple H all the time. Or not <laughs> be able to beat Triple H. That's something that is pretty much uh, upset that me. Is, that is a good I, I, I second that, that one. I'm with that one. Hey, Matt Carlin. Hey. That is a good answer. Thanks. Good answer. 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 Show me potato salad. Is that everybody? And it dinged. It dinged. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe that was everybody. The potato salad. Or did you ask one? Oh, yeah. yeah. You started off. Okay. That was number one. Um, that was easy. I, uh, I could talk about myself for hours. I love the sound of my own voice. All right. I know. We'll start a show. Got All right, quarter going, and uh, it, it, and you're on auto switch for 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 Google Plus. Amen. Amen. Points. Oh. Amen. Points on that. Stand in the place where you piss. Amen. Oh, Think about it. Oh, I did not see that covered. Oh man. man. I'm gonna feel like the I, biggest asshole getting interviewed. That was easy. <laughs> What the hell? Let's see it. No, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. He's almost there. <laughs> Just keep doing it when, until Sword comes. No, we're not doing that. No, no, we're not doing that until Sword comes back. <laughs> okay, who's the? Is that a person that I should know? Is this is like that, Baby Hulk? From, that's Beast no. Boy. That's Beast, Beast Boy, Boy yeah. motherfuckers. Oh, I want. Oh, okay. Go. I want to make it. I want to make. It, I want to imply that the maker of that toy was like, "This is the toy that that makes it sound that Beast Boy makes when he attacks the ladies." <laughs> <laughs> I should keep it down. It kind of reminded me of the Great Gazoo for some reason. You want me? Come find me. I killed WCW Sting. Sting in the picture you live. And I'll make you right. Sorg is not going to be able to use any of this. By the way, did anyone see the... Um, the, the, the did anyone see the Divas promo on SmackDown that they're probably going to cut? No, I heard about it. <laughs> There's a video of it somewhere. Mainly because they use the term ass and bitches. And they mentioned Brock Lesnar defending his title. Oh, yeah, Nikki Bella's like, hopefully AJ doesn't win the belt. Yeah. Belt. I'm pretty sure you you filled less states than Brock Lesnar this year. <laughs> hey oh. oh, oh, that's great! And the crowd did a whole ooh. That's <laughs> really good though. It was a really that's good really, promo. That's really good. I need to find this now. I'll, I'll see if there's a link to it. That sounds really fun. 
Oh man. But yeah, no, they're cut. They have to cut it because it ends with Nikki going, "See you, bitches at WrestleMania." <laughs> Literally, word for word. No. I'm okay with that. I don't think there's anything wrong. Well, uh, you are okay with that. Yes. EG. But, uh, they're kind of not. They're leaning towards not being. PG. That was easy. Hey, uh. In fa- actually, no. That, that's that's not. I think. I love my, my wife wants you guys to know that she will go out on a limb and say Triple H is going to win at WrestleMania. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so she's now, now not I, on the board, is she? she she's taking my Rusev approach. And now she also wants. Gonna... She also wants Finn Balor in the uh, Battle Royal. Sure. Yeah, I can see that. Finn oh, right, there's, a lonely, there's a lonely little BFJ right there next to Rusev's name. <laughs> Guys, I have a question. I have a question. Is the absolute worst case scenario for Brock Lesnar... That's a dumb match. My mic's talking. Is the absolute yeah. worst case scenario for Brock Lesnar that he holds the belt one day longer than oh, CM Punk's oh, reign? And then he loses to Cena for Cena's record tying 16th title win. Oh, oh that's pretty good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Cena never got his win back. I just I know, basically the same thing. I mean, because. I, I think that's a good theory that, that it, 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 if Brock keeps it through WrestleMania, I'm on board with him breaking Punk's record. I And I think that would be the perfect fuck you. And, and not that by like one day, by like three or four more months. Just Punk like is in the longest now? But it's not like Punk's is the longest, right? Well, it's no, the but it's, it's the longest in modern in era. In modern, yeah. Like, oh. Uh, I like how we all yeah. just shut up when we sword did that. Sword went pee. Stand in the place where you are. You okay, buddy? Think about tomorrow. Something, something, Sorg. something. You're uh, muted, Sorg. Yeah. Sorg is muted. No, he's just not talking. No. Yeah, no, he's not muted. Oh, he's not muted. Okay, now I hear it. Find me! Good night, honey. Sting! Sting! Where are you, Sting? Oh, you're up there? Okay, I want to I, I wanna, I, I wanna imagine... I want to imagine you and Jen waking up. <laughs> She's flashing the lights down here. But here's the thing. Did you hear but that? I don't know where you guys got that reference from because you're sounding like um like you're sounding like Sid Vicious. Twenty two. Why me? <laughs> I just wait. wait. Kaka, 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 stay. I'll, wait, just, wait. Is Dalton Castle coming out? <clears throat> I think the Undertaker is invading your living room. <laughs> That's right. I, I just the only thing I take away from the whole feud, but the the signature moment is like I don't even remember when it was. Like Triple H is like standing on one of the announce tables with the microphone, he's just screaming, Sting No, it was right after um uh Sting helped get the jobs back of Oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Yes of the fired guys. When he showed up on Raw. Blame two times. <laughs> Is, is that Sting or is that a picture of Sting? Jen? Better be a dinner! <laughs> yeah. This is literally the only way we've been communicating with one another for the past Matt, day or so. I, lock the door, please. We, just, yeah. we see each other in the morning. Sting! Like, I, like I worry about your children. Just yelling, Sting at the work! <laughs> wow. Bobby, Bobby, you got any more lyrics for your... Uh, for your, your your REM parody, Sting? Uh, Sting in the place where you work. Maybe. Don't think about something. <laughs> then do the other thing. It's the end of the match as we know it. <laughs> and, I, and I chose Sting. Wow. <laughs> I chose okay, Sting. On that.